Hey everyone, I'm Boone. Today I'm looking at the Motion Array extension for Adobe. Now this works in both Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. If you're new to Motion Array, this is essentially a membership-based marketplace for both video and audio assets, and they have a wide variety of things to choose from. Basically anything you might need for your project, you can probably find it on Motion Array. Now while most of these things require premium membership, they do have a large collection of free assets. So if you'd like to follow along with the tutorial, you can, as everything I'm using here is free. The extension is available for free download. You can set up a free Motion Array account and all the assets I'm using in this particular tutorial are free. So the really cool thing about this tool is that everything can be done directly inside of the program. Whether you're in After Effects or Premiere Pro, you can simply view all of the assets of this vast library, download them, and then they'll automatically import for use. You don't have to jump over to Motion Array's website and constantly jump back and forth. So this is really a streamlined workflow. Let's take a closer look and see how it works. Okay, so for the first step, I need to download the extension. So I'm over here at motionarray.com and they have a page called Integrations. I'm gonna click on this, and here we can see the extension for Adobe. I'm gonna click on Download. Now this is gonna take me to Adobe Exchange. This is Adobe's marketplace for all of their extensions, and I can simply click the Install button here. Now one other thing I wanna show you is if, if you click on Creative Cloud and we go down here to all the extensions, Motion Array is the second most popular for all extensions. But if I go to Premiere Pro or After Effects, it's the most popular for both. Pretty cool. All right, I'm inside of my Adobe After Effects project. To open up the extension, I'm gonna to go to Window, Extensions, and select Motion Array. And as I said before, I'm gonna to need to set up an account to use these assets. So right now, if I just hover over here and I try to download something, it's gonna take me here to where I need to log into my account. So I'm gonna go ahead and create free account. That's gonna take me to Motion Array's website, and I'm gonna get that set up here. Okay, so I have my Motion Array account set up. I'm ready to start using the extension to find assets. So let's say I'm working on a television documentary series called Earth 3000, and I've shot all my interviews. I have all my content of my show. Now I just need to create like an opening title for this particular project. So up at the top of the panel here, you can see the keyword search bar, and I also have a drop-down menu here for categories, and I have a number of different assets I can categorize my search. So I'm gonna leave that to everything, Let's say we want, let's see what happens when I just type the word Earth. Let's see, I want like a shot of planet Earth. So I'm gonna hit enter. Now it comes up with results here and there's just a wide variety of assets here. We have some 4K shots. But the problem is it's showing us a lot of um, these premium assets. So we wanna see what we can get for free. So there's another drop down menu down here. I can categorize this even further by free items. So I like this one. I can watch a quick preview of it. Also, there's a little info tab here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Okay, and it has an option here. It says it's downloading it right now. And I can select to have it not auto import because it's gonna bring that directly into my project here. If I click here and I go to my downloads, you can see I have this notification here and it's showing that that is currently downloading. So the other cool thing about Motion Array is the pricing structure for membership. So I've obviously set up a free account here, but you can pay monthly or you can get a discount and pay annually. The cool thing about that is you get unlimited downloads, so you don't have to worry about the specific price of individual assets. It's just straight across unlimited downloads. Now you can see it was auto-imported into my project. You can see I have the clip right here. I'm gonna right-click on this and click Reveal in Finder. And now you can see that it automatically created this folder here, Motionary Assets. Now I'm gonna drag this in to my sequence here. Now let's say I want like a glitch style title to throw over this. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that out. Then I'm just type in glitch and see what I get. So I got some sound effects. Well over here I have a, like a glitch pack. So let's preview this. Okay, this is a set of After Effects templates, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this. I'm gonna use this to create a title that we can put over our planet here. And you can see this is a whole template uh, project file, so I'm gonna open this up. And now we have some comps here. I have logo glitch, some transitions, but I also have titles. So let's open up this title here, see what it looks like. Okay, that's looking good. So now all I need to do is go to the edit comp here and select edit title. I'm going to edit this first title. And now we're going to type in Earth 
3000. And I'm going to go ahead and change this font. Let's use like more sci-fi style text here. And I'll make it all caps. And then I'll just change a little bit of the styling here. Let's make that medium. Okay. And I'm going to close this. Close our final title. Now I just need to grab that final title comp, drag it over here. And for the final, final touch here, I'm going to see if I can find some light leaks. Give me an overlay. All right, I'm going to go down here and grab this. This one's looking good. I'm going to download this here. And once my light leak is imported, I'm going to just drag and drop it right over top here. And now if I kind of scroll over, I need to change the blend mode here. I'm going to change that to screen. Okay, now we have our composite here. And I'm going to make some final touches. I'm just going to adjust the opacity of my light leak, bring that down a bit. I'm going to adjust the opacity of the earth. Let's bring that down as well. And then I'm going to scale my main title down quite a bit. Okay, now let's take a look at our final. Okay, that's looking good. Now I'm going to jump over to Adobe Premiere Pro and let's put some music on this. So I'm going to go to Window, Extensions, and open up Motion Array. And now let's say I want to find a music or sound effects piece that is in that glitch theme. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in glitch and make sure that we sort by free items. And now let's hit enter and see what we got here. Some sound effects, glitch sound effect, free glitch logo. Let's see what this is. Preview. I actually like this one. So I am going to go ahead and download this. That will auto import. Here I have my motion array folder. Open this up, grab that. All right, now let's see what we got. Okay, so there you have it. That's the Motion Array extension for Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro. Highly suggest you check it out. Uh, once again, everything I did here was free. The Motion Array extension is free. I set up a free account and I used all the free assets that were available. Very, very helpful, very, very streamlined. Go check it out. And if you enjoyed the tutorial, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.